Hey guys! In about an hour, I have to leave for the airport to go to Cambodia. I'm still in Saigon currently, and I'm gonna show you what I packed for my six month long Asia trip. My first stop was South Korea, then Thailand, Indonesia, specifically Bali, Singapore, back to Indonesia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Taiwan, back to Thailand, and last but not least, Hong Kong. I'm gonna show you my toiletries bag first. These are my non liquid toiletries. And this is my non-liquid toiletry bag. I bought it on Amazon. Pockets, pockets, and more pockets. And then we have an extra pocket in here. This is where I put my earplugs. I brought my extra set of glasses. Just in case these go awry. These are my tweezers so I could pluck my eyebrows. These two are my eyebrow pencils. This is my eyeliner. My electric toothbrush that I bought in Singapore about two years ago. Uh, this is the battery, and then this is my tongue scraper. It used to be longer, but I cut it in half to save space in my toiletry bag. These here are floss sticks. I always carry one of these in my day bag. I didn't eat anything yet, but let me do a demo. Ding, ding, ding. Of course, we have a nail cutter, and these, um, what is it called again? Oh, what is it called? I can't remember. Have some band-aids. And this is for shaving off the little jungles off the legs. I picked up these nail polish in Korea. When you're in Seoul, there's a lot of accessibility to skincare shops. So over there, that's where I picked up all my skincare products. And by the time I got to Bali, I ran out of most of my clay masks from Korea. So I picked up this from Bali. I bought this tattoo from Korea and acne patches from Korea. These are super helpful because after I have an awesome day of eating all kinds of street food and all kinds of delicious food in general, I may get a pimple or two, you know, like sugar. So I put one of those on there, or a couple, and then the next day, boom! Most of the time, my pimples are gone the next morning. And these are masks from Korea as well. I, I bought a new set of these when I left the States. I also have some earplugs. I carry a lot of them because they don't take up much space. Because what happens? If you squish it, it becomes very compact. And they're very light, so uh, better to be safe than sorry, especially if you're a light sleeper. Last but most definitely not least, my handy dandy brush that I've been using since high school. I was wondering why there was so much room left in my non-liquid toiletry bag, and it's because I forgot to put my makeup in there. Uh, I brought my Bare Minerals powders, and this brush, I picked it up in Korea in is free. I brought two sets of these, um, but the first set already ran out and I'm already on my second. So as I was traveling um, and I used my makeup, it opened up more free space. I also like to carry one extra Ziploc bag just in case. I also like to put my panty liners in this bag. Let's close the book on this toiletry bag. These are my main liquids. And this is my sunscreen, primer, toothpaste, my makeup remover. This one has 30 sheets. This particular brand is Face Shop, a Korean skincare company. I found this shop in Hanoi as well as Bangkok. This is my insect repellent that was highly recommended to bring with me on the trip. Additional toothpaste, this is more for my messenger bag, my day bag. And then this is my um, concealer. I can't read Vietnamese. I think this was conditioner or shampoo. I picked this bar of soap from a hotel I was in in Da Nang. And another soap I was in another hotel, uh, just in case. This is a clay mask I picked up from Korea and actually, I'm almost done with it. I have uh, one more use out of it and then I'll toss it out in Cambodia. This here is my BB cream. It came in another container, but I put it in this travel-friendly one. If you check in your bags, it doesn't matter how many liquids you bring, um, but I'm doing all carry-on. So I have to put it in all my liquids. I have to fit it all in this bag. So sometimes the limit for the carry-on might be 7 kg not 15 kg, depending on the airline. In that case, then I do have to check in my small luggage and then I just carry my backpack filled with electronics because you do not want to check in your laptop. It's safer to bring it with you, including your DSLR and all your expensive electronics. The order in which you put things is quite important. I always put the bigger containers first. It gives me structure in this bag. I try to place all the products in there so it's not gonna poke the bag and rip it open. Even if you can fit all your liquids into this bag, each bottle cannot be over 100 ml. I almost forgot these earplugs and uh, my Vaseline. I put these on my lips every night to keep my lips from chapping. When I pack, I always divide my clothes into three categories. 
the fresh laundry category. Um, these are clothes that I have not worn ever since I washed them. The second category is clothes that I wore already at least once. And then the third bag I put my clothes in is the dirty laundry. These are my clean clothes. Uh, this is from Uniqlo. Uh, if it gets cold, I could wear it as like a thin little jacket or as like in between a bigger jacket. These three shirts are like this one. I brought more originally, but I had to retire them because they started getting holes or they got stained when I uh, took them to the laundromat. Like in Bali and in Vietnam, you could send your dirty laundry to a shop and then they'll clean it for you. But sometimes um, they mix your whites with color and they got stained. I always like to bring some tanks. I brought this one and an orange one, but this orange one got a hole in it, so I'm gonna retire that one. Goodbye! Extra bra. This is a tank top I got for free at a nightclub. Two pajama pants that I picked up in Bangkok. These two I picked up in Chiang Mai. I also brought two jeans and then the ones I'm wearing. And then a couple socks. Uh, I got some holes in old socks so I tossed them out and I got new ones. These two are from Hanoi. Uh, one, two, three. These are from Korea. And then my pajama and five pairs of undies here. And the one I'm wearing. And I have a couple more, two more dirty undies in my dirty laundry. Three more pairs of socks in my dirty laundry. And for special occasions, I bought this one skirt in Korea and I wore this to a meetup previously. And then I bought it Blossom in Korea as well. This is a set of earrings that my friend from Bali gave to me. And this scarf with trees on it, I got this in Hoi An. And this, what is this sock doing here by itself? This is not mine. When I got my laundry back in Saigon, that I saw that in my bag. Welcome to the family! Man, I have mixed feelings about this sock. I mean, it's not my sock. I don't need it, and there's not even a pair, it's just one. But it, you know, it's like, it's still usable. Like, what do I do with it? You know, do I, do I just hide it in a corner somewhere? So these are my two main bags. This is my backpack, which I put all the electronics in. And then these are for the clothes and other stuff. It has a lot of pockets. And in the one of these pockets, I put a bunch of plastic bags because you never know when you need to put your trash in there or you know you want to separate some goods. And the inside, I have a swimming suit and goggles. And in the front, I used to have a flashlight here, but I think it fell out. I have shoelaces and a copy of my passport. I also carry with me a small, quick, dry towel. And this does miracles. If you do not have a towel at a hotel or you know they're not giving you one ASAP, you just use this and it dries super quick. I tightly roll everything up and then line my undies up in here. And then I put my jacket, all the big stuff go down on the bottom first and then the smaller things go on the top. Before I left America, I bought some anti-diarrheal pills as well as Pepto-Bismol and Motrin. And this is my copy of Traveler's Insurance and Passport. This is a flask my best friend of the East gave me. I also got to pack my slippers. I got these from a hotel in Indonesia. Alright, so if I had more time, I'd arrange this in a more pretty and Instagram friendly way. I have my selfie stick, converters, measuring tape. This is a charger for my vlogging camera. And then I have a mouse. I picked, this, I picked this up in Chiang Mai. Extra battery for my camera, extra memory card for my camera, headphones, my laptop, and then two external hard drives to back up all my uh, vlog footage. And then I have wires, phone charger, a charger for the camera which plugs into the USB of course the charger for the laptop and all of these go into this bag some miscellaneous items I put into my backpack is woman products some postcards uh, this is my vision board I made in San Francisco almost a year ago actually this is my postcard um, holder which I bought from Chiang Mai and then I also bought this one in Bangkok Extra bag. This is like my day bag. If I go on a day trip somewhere, I put everything in here. And this is a, another bag for like shopping or you know, I have like bigger things to mail. I put everything in here. Can't forget my shoes. I'm gonna be wearing these high heels at a wedding in Taiwan, so I gotta pack those in as well. And since it's my travel flying day, gotta put my passport into my day bag. I really gotta go out to the airport now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on what I packed to my six month long trip to Asia. What are the reasons why I like to uh, be light when I travel? In Asia, not all places have elevators. So you might have to carry all your luggage up like three flights of stairs or even five flights of stairs. All right, I really gotta go to the airport now. I'll see you guys in the next mukbang and travel video. Bye-bye.